Good morning, Utah. Hey, I don't know, there's probably uh, plenty of people, especially on the weekends, you know, holidays, everybody wanting to head to St. George. You know, Salt Lake City to St. George, pretty common thing. It's kind of, it's kind of like the Utah's Bahamas. But uh, anyway, I kind of tend to do it weekly. Just have a lot of clients and family down there, so I tend to make trips there every once in a while, and that's actually what I'm doing today. So I figure, hey, let's take you on the journey from Harriman to Hurricane, and then we'll stop in at St. George, because, you know, we always got to stop there, so... Anyway, we're off. Man, how did they know? Ironically, their little uh, tag, tag line's a little bit uh, spooky this morning. Maverick's uh, adventure's first stop. It's kind of like it's my first stop right now. Yeah, let's get some fuel. Utah's world's best water. 
quite sure where we get it, but I have I have uh, hunted those mountains around there quite a bit. Tapped into some of the spring water up there on some backcountry hunts. It's delicious. And yeah, there's some amazing gold mining in those woods too. If you're into that sort of thing. Still white knuckle drive. <clears throat> Not what I was expecting for today's drive to St. George. Man, the weather report, the weatherman definitely got this wrong. We just uh, came over the top, dropping into Dog Valley. All of you know Dog Valley. If you're from Utah, you know where I'm talking. Big old meadow, <clears throat> uh, right at the top of a, a mountain pass. So everybody's jockeying for position right now on this road. We got semis trying to pass me. It's funny, we're passing them on the hills up, they're passing on the way down. Everybody's trying to stay in the little two track lane road that we got. Everybody's fighting for position. <laughs> anyway, still fun. Oh, get up on that steering wheel. since Mills so of course everything I had planned on doing has <laughs> been disrupted so wow finally we got back to some blacktop the sun's starting to poke through still have some snow showers let's get back to video we're still on our trek to to Hurricane from Harriman to Hurricane so <laughs> just a lot longer than uh, originally planned just know that I usually do this trip like once a week and it takes me with no stops three and a half hours. I've got the kids, dogs, whatever. It takes me four, four and a half. But if we stop and film more and eat dinner or not. Guys, coming out, might be able to show you some more uh, central Utah now that we're uh, finally breaking out of that storm. But, uh, we just did it, made it to Beaver. Yeah, we love Beaver. So, hopefully, uh, it looks looking pretty good. Hopefully, it's a good ride the next way, uh, rest of the way down to Hurricane St. George area. Maybe on the way back we'll stop in at some uh, some of the uh, shops in Beaver. Get some we love uh, or get some I love Beaver uh, swag. Anyone notice all those milk cows back there? <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Ouch. With that many uh, high patrolmen, I can only mean one thing. Probably uh, had something in his vehicle he wasn't supposed to have. Like a nice little Cadillac SUV, so 
can only imagine. It's only speculation. And of course, the weather's back. The roads are starting to get a little more slick again. You know, of course, we get to Cedar City. It's snow again. It's that elevation thing. Glad to see storms are moving through here. But of course, hey, we haven't seen a Maverick for a while. Wouldn't you know it? The very first exit. There's a Maverick right there to greet us as we come in. So if you need to fuel up, maybe take that second stop for your adventure, uh, grab a breakfast burrito, whatever, you know. One thing I know about Maverick is they got consistent food. All the way from Northern Salt Lake, all the way down to, I think uh, they've got some in California now. I know I'm gonna get the same thing when I show up. They got an amazing hot dog bar. So Cedar City is the home of Southern Utah University. Let's go Thunderbirds. Uh, yeah, and they're also the home of a lot of storage units. You ever wanted somewhere to put something to store it? You know, maybe because you ran out of room in the garage? Or maybe you just need to empty your garage. <laughs> Cedar City's definitely got storage units. Might be a little far from Salt Lake, but hey. Not far from St. George, not hey, if you live in Cedar City. I'm sure you I'm sure you got a I'm sure you got a storage unit. Love to show you uh, uh SUU, but uh, it's a little socked in. There it is now. You can barely see it though off the highway. It's still pretty good. Unbelievable, right? Just like that. We drop off that rim. Once you get over uh, Black Ridge, you kind of descend a little bit. And just like that, it's blue sky. That's why they always say it's always sunny in St. George. It pretty much is. It's like 90% of the time it's sunny in St. George. So it's quite a bit. Anyway, we're about there. About five miles away right now. We're getting close to her. 